here we are Thursday Thunder on Friday at not the gym and we're not at the gym we're we're Australian Muscle Salisbury because Jason is in Bali bastard yeah enjoying the Sun yeah yeah you see those pictures people put up with just their feet just that yeah legs yeah. legs and feet I always want to caption like hot dogs or legs yeah yeah if you can see you know what I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought just in case you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what's been happening? Well, a fair bit's been happening. We're Is getting it? yeah, well, we're getting new equipment at the gym, aren't we? Yeah, excited. yeah, at the gym. We placed an order yesterday for a brand new Cybex hack squat. So that's on its way. Uh, it'll take about eight weeks. It's on the water. Eight to ten. Yep. I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah, and so and we're keeping up with our. We've got a lot of Cybex equipment, and they're good. They're bulletproof, mm. and they're comfortable, and they work the muscle beautifully. So uh, that's that's exciting. I've used one of them before. They, it's so good. Yeah, it's smooth. You can get lots of pain out of it. My <laughs> clients are gonna really love it. Yeah, it's yeah, good. it'll be good. So that's coming in about um, eight, yeah, to ten eight to ten weeks. Hopefully, eight weeks. Um, all right, we've got, uh, we'll just mention, we've got uh, the Nava Worlds is on uh, in Brazil. Mm, this weekend? This this weekend, Saturday, but I think it's Sunday our time. Is it? Yeah, I think so, something like that. I think it's sort of like over overnight. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I'm not sure. I'm not it's sure on the other side yeah. of the world. Yeah, have you been, I've been following some of Maddie's, um, um, Adelaide's Matthew Smedley is competing, obviously, yep. in his first world title, so good luck to Matty. He's been posting some um, stuff of his stay uh, on Instagram. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. He did put up this morning a thing saying that it's in a city called Natal, which I think is in north of um, Rio. Somewhere. All right. Yeah, but he reckons it's a shithole. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I know that their governments have really messed up at the moment. Yeah, but he just says the town itself is... It's not a very interesting place, so, but he's staying there for a week later, so I'm sure he'll put up some um, interesting photos as they're on holidays. So good luck to Matty Smedley, competing in his uh, first international contest. Uh, I'm sure he'll do pretty well. I believe Justin Wessels is over there too. Justin Wessels is over there. I'm not sure who else from the Australian team is there. I'm not sure. There. I, I know that a lot went to the Universe, which was the weekend just gone. That was the WFF. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not sure who's at the Navi show. So good luck to everyone competing from Australia. Mm. Um, we have got this weekend is the IMBA Get Stage Ready seminar. So um, we've been having these. We've done these for like four years in a row now. Yeah, yeah. So we have one before every contest. So it's what is twelve weeks. Twelve this weeks. Week? So yeah. Twelve weeks this weekend. So on Sunday at one p.m. at Australian Muscle the Gym, one thirty Bridge Road. Uh, anything to do with getting yourself ready to compete in the IMBA. So we'll have judges on hand, we'll have officials on hand. We've got guest speakers from tanning companies, bikinis, uh, bikini companies, angels. Uh, uh, a lady who makes uh, the wings and costumes for the Ember Angels. So we've got some special guests, but we'll be posing covering. Posing coaches. Posing coaches. We'll be announcing when posing classes start. Uh, everything to do with competing, choosing the right division, what divisions you can enter, the whole works. Any questions that you yeah. have as well. So if you are competing, especially if you're a first time competitor, I'd strongly urge you to come down. If you know anybody else that is competing that doesn't know about the cinema, let them know. There is a Facebook events page. If you look up Imba Get Stage Ready, you'll find it. Even if you're a coach. Coach, so I think coaches are, yeah. should be important, I mean, to come down so you know the rules and regulations on where you're putting your clients. Mm. All of that will be covered. So 1 p.m. Australia Muscle the Gym, uh, 1:30 Bridge Road, Paraka. It's not going to go for hours. Just on an hour. An hour and a half. We're not going to take up a lot of your time, so you can go back home. It's a Sunday. It's a Sunday. Yeah. All right. Um, now we had a question yes. again from Zach. Yes. Zach, wasn't it? Now his question, he asked, like, how lean should you stay in the off season? Now. I, I personally think there should be no such thing as an off-season. Not really. Not really, not anymore. Um, I think you stay the leaner that you are, the, the better you will. Mm -hmm. And that's now the contention. Gone are the days of bulking up, getting really heavy. It has been proven even scientifically that you build more muscle when you're leaner than when you're heavier. Mm. The more body fat you have, the more you're affecting your hormones, your testosterone, your estrogen ratios, everything, and you're actually making it harder to build muscle. 
and that's been proven. I, I, we see a lot of guys. You stay really lean now, and you're getting bigger all the time. Um, so you're 15, growing. Fifteen percent was my last pinches. I don't want to go any yeah. better than that. No, because you can't. Oh, I got down to six point eight. And you yeah. can't stay that lean. No, because then again, your hormones. No, but I think, you know, what are you? Five, six kilos over your comp weight now? Yeah, six, seven. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, don't go any more than that. Mm. But generally, even if you haven't competed before, try and stay lean. Mm. I think the leaner you are, the better, more muscle you will actually build. Mm. Not only that, you look better. You look better naked. <laughs> yeah, you feel better, obviously, because you're lean. You know. But I think it's it will. You you are not going to hamper your gains in the gym by nah, staying lean. No, if anything, you're going to enhance it. And if you monitor your progress either the pinch test or even measurements using yeah. the mirror. You well, that's where I was going to go on to the next part of this, just expand, is keep track of your progress, mm. you know, and I, I can't emphasize this enough. Too many people just randomly just, they just exist yeah. and hope for the best that I'm building muscle. How do you know if you don't get progress? Get pinch tests, get a body fat test at Adelaide Body Scan every couple of months. Um, Keep track of your progress because if you don't know what's happening with your body, well, how do you know what, whether to increase calories or decrease calories or, yeah. or what to do? If you're putting on fat or if you're putting on muscle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that I'll, I'll go into another question that I had yesterday. I had a guy come in and saying like, what's the easiest way for me to measure change? You know, if I've never done it. You know, so if you're trying to lose body fat or get leaner, you need to make a change. First, you need to make a change. If you keep eating the way you are, you're just gonna stay, stay the way you are. Stay the same. So make a change. Cut back on portions and, and monitor everything you eat for a week to two weeks. Mm -hmm. And I mean everything. You write down everything, you weigh everything, and you monitor it. Monitor it. Take either a pinch test or weigh, weigh yourself before that. And then after that week, weigh yourself again. If you've seen a change, well, that's good. If weight's gone down, your pinches have gone down, you're on the right track. If you haven't seen a change, well, then you need to make more changes. Mm. You need to cut back more food. You need to change things. So it's quite simple, but you need to monitor yourself. You need to it's keep be track. Yeah, exactly right. You, this, you're not going to do it guessing. It's just not going to work guessing at mm. all. You have to keep track. I, I keep, and me and Sam, we're the same. I mean, we, we keep track of everything we eat. Everything I put into my mouth is weighed and measured. Mm -hmm. Now, people might turn around and say, oh my God, that's so tedious. But in the end, it just becomes second nature. Yeah, just, just yeah. Happens, so normal. everything is weighed and measured. Even my training is programmed and measured and kept track of all the time. Same I write yeah, down... Same with that. Yeah, I you write do down everything thing. that I do, all the weights, all the weights, um, the reps, everything is measured and controlled. And at the I, every two weeks, I have pinches done. And if a change needs to happen, if, if pinches aren't going down, if they're staying the same or they're going up, well, then necessary changes are made to the nutrition. Mm. So um, it's not tedious once you get into a habit. Mm. And I think it is so important. You can't, you cannot guess your way around building muscle. I think, no. which is what most people do. They just guess and hope for the best. And, yeah. Yeah. No. Take control of your training, take control of your diet, mm. and then you're going to start seeing results. Because how can you change anything if you don't have no, any data yeah. to go against anything? Yeah. Mm. All right, so make those changes, monitor yourself every 10 days to 14 days, monitor yourself again, and need, make changes that need to be made. Mm. You know, if you haven't lost anything in two weeks, you're not going to lose anything in another four weeks. Mm. It's just not going to happen. You need to make change straight away, you know? Because if you do, if you apply yourself right, you can make huge changes in 10 days in, into your body composition. Yeah, and don't fall into the trap of you lose a bit of weight and then you take more food away or you do more cardio to try and lose more weight. I, I would put in more food. That's right. Just a smidge. Well, mine is every time, like I said, mine, my, all my results are measured in weight. Every time Michelle does my pinches, mm -hmm. I send my reports through and if my pinches go down, my, my food goes up. Yeah. I'll get a message saying, oh, awesome work, add another egg in, or throw in 50 grams of, of chicken and beef, or, or, or this. So as, as I'm getting leaner, my food's going up. Mm. Yeah, so that way which, your which metabolism people, works better. Exactly right. All right, so on that note, we'll just quickly finish off. We've got those couple of specials. 
So we'll just, this is, this is our optimum nutrition stack. So the new gold standard BCAs, a gold standard pre-workout with a free cyclone shaker, $79.95. Available online and in store. And we just had this special come in this week. So on the heels of, a oh, good one. <laughs> on the heels of last week's Max's special, with the super weight, we have now got a special on the super size. So a four kilo super size, down to $79.95, and you get a free gym bag, and you get a free beanie. All right? So you can't beat that deal. And then you can take selfies like Jeremy with a beanie, side arm, flexing. That's right. Yeah, we might still run a contest on that. All right? So that's it, everyone. Have a great weekend. So this is Thursday Thunder, signing off on a Friday. Yeah. Stay humble and don't be a knob. See you later.